Einmal im Monat putze ich so richtig gründlich meine Bude. Ja, ihr habt richtig gehört, einmal im Monat reicht für mich vollkommen aus. Wir befinden uns im Badezimmer und fange auch direkt mit der Badewanne an. Und wie dreckig ist bitte meine Duschwand? Jetzt die Toilette und danach folgt große Spiegel. Aber dafür muss ich erstmal meine ganzen Sachen wegräumen. Ihr seht, es ist ganz schön staubig. Danach habe ich noch schön das Tablett gereinigt, alles zurückgestellt, gesaugt, gewischt und voila, fertig. Day, which means I need to clean my house so I thought we'd start off by doing the kitchen this is also my first home so I'm very new to this whole cleaning thing so any tips are really appreciated but anyway I started by cleaning the sink and pouring some of the flora down the drain this just makes it smell so good then I saw someone use washing up liquid to clean their cooker so I gave it a go and it was actually pretty good it was quite hard to get off but after a few wipes it did all go where my toaster is there's so many crumbs so I literally have to take everything off the sides wipe the sides down then put everything back then I finished off with a quick hoover and a mop and that was it but anyway if you want to definitely follow along for the journey of making this house a home and learning to clean together <laughs> This is how you wash your North Face puffer jacket.
This now goes in my delicate setting, very low temperature, mild detergent, and I'm also gonna add in some laundry sanitizer. This is what it looks like when you take it out of the wash. Next step is very important, tumble dry on low in 10 minute increments. Believe it or not, the key to a clean house is not a Sunday reset. As much as I do love a Sunday reset, the key to a clean house is having a solid daily cleaning routine. And you've got to make it easy for yourself. For example, every morning when I wake up, I make my bed. Then I get dressed and put a load of washing on because having a load of washing on is a really easy way to feel productive. I put last night's dishes away before I make my breakfast. And every night after dinner, I tidy off the dining table because it gets full of clutter. It's our dumping ground. And it genuinely makes the whole house feel tidy when the kitchen and dining areas are clean. Now, usually I will look at the laundry and walk straight past it, but I'm trying to be better at this. So I'm habit stacking while I watch TV, I'll fold my washing. It's really no skin off my nose. Unfortunately, we have one of those couches that needs daily maintenance. So after we finish watching TV, I'll give it a little fluff. I'll put anything and everything back in its home, like this throw that I left in the blanket basket that actually belongs on our guest bed. It really is that simple. My toddler's dad caught what seemed to be a stomach bug, so I did what any normal person would do and I banished him from my house. However, this meant I got stuck with a tiny little tornado of a toddler who I had to entertain for two weeks straight. And as you can see, our little apartment got completely neglected. I don't know why, but whenever I see people do deep cleans on TikTok, I always think, fuck it, I'm doing it too. I'm getting up and I'm doing it. So I thought I'd film this because maybe I'll be someone else's motivation today. Anyway, I got stuck into the kitchen because that's my least favorite. It never takes as long as you think it does. I don't know why. After the kitchen, I moved on to the little dining area. Honestly, I don't know what's going on here, don't ask. And I'm gonna have to ask you to excuse the dogs throughout this video. This is the little front door dump. I then started on the lounge room, which for some reason I seem to be cleaning 24 fucking seven. The table's always covered in cocoa pops and the floor's always covered in cheese. By the way, I'm saving the floors for last. Don't look under the couch. I ran out of time to do the other rooms, but let me know if you wanna see a part two, bye.
do super realistic clean with me because my room is really messy and this is so vulnerable showing you guys how messy it gets but let's clean it up so i'm gonna start by making my bed so i can use that as like a surface to put other things on i feel like as a content creator there is like so much pressure to have like a super clean and aesthetic room at all times and i'm gonna let y'all know that is like not the case for me i really wish though i was one of those girls with like a super clean room and it was like always presentable for guests but i struggle with adhd really bad and it can make cleaning super challenging if y'all also struggle with adhd i find it helps to break it down task by task and do not do anything else until that little task is complete for me that'll be like doing my makeup count I won't do anything else until that's done. And since I'm a content creator, I do have the perk of like recording myself. So I literally cannot leave that task. Otherwise it'll ruin the time lapse. So maybe do that for yourself too. I've really been struggling with anxiety lately, which is part of why my room can get so messy. But yeah, here it is clean. I feel like so much more at peace in like a clean room. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. So I am pure panic cleaning right now because I've got someone coming round to see if they can fit an integrated dishwasher and washing machine. They are not going to be bothered in the slightest if my house is clean or not, but my mind tells me otherwise. I even changed the dish mat expunge. So yeah, I'm scrubbing this downstairs like there's no tomorrow. This fridge had one finger mark on it and I still had to scrub the full thing. And of course, emptying this smelly ass bin. Dettol disinfectant spray is a lifesaver. Did I need to clean these cupboards? No, I didn't. But you really can't beat a fresh kitchen drenched in Sephora. Oh, and here's a clip of me dancing with the washing machine, trying to get it out. Luckily, I did this the other day, so it's not too bad. So not happy with the marks it left on the floor. I am so happy to be saying bye to this machine. Well, that's if they can change it. Fingers crossed. Onto the lounge. Dog hairs, be gone. Okay, let's see how many empty water bottles Tom has dumped today. Oh, there's one and two. This unit is giving dusty. Some advice if you're planning on buying a new build, don't buy black furniture because the dust will drive you insane. Finish with a good mop and some smellies, and we are done.
If you're anything like me and absolutely hate the after dinner cleanup, then this is your motivation. Go and get it done. You can thank me later when you've got a nice clean space to wake up to in the morning. Anyway, we had spaghetti bolognese for dinner tonight, so that's me just done the dishes and cleaning the oven there. I am using my shark handheld hoover for the crumbs. Absolute game changer, by the way. My cleaning combo tonight was the pink stuff paste and the multi-purpose spray. That's me also just having a tantrum because I realised I missed a dish to wash. How annoying. Anyone spot all these little toes at the dining table when I was wiping it. I then got the good old shark out for a hoover and used pink stuff floor cleaning spray at some point today cooper managed to get his hands on an eraser daddy r.i.p so yeah i had to give that all a hoover as well it was absolutely everything then i had to deal with this pile of clean washing that's been sat on my sofa that i have been avoiding all day so yeah put that away then gave the couch a quick vacuum and febreze it the end is now near so i just picked up all this crap that was lying around put the dry clean washing away and then gave this area a hoover as well and finished off with a wax melt Fais juste avec de l'eau pour voir s'il te plaît. N'oublie pas de t'abonner pendant que je frotte mon frérot. Note, ça ne marche pas sur 10.
myself tonight so I'm doing a one hour speed clean whilst my Chinese is on route. Switched into PGs of course because I ain't cleaning in no cargo. Tonight there was a record breaking four cups and bottles in the boys room tonight so I removed them, washed them and then wiped down the cooker and the sink. This ain't a deep clean so don't come at me tonight if I'm missing any spots although I will say whilst my dental was marinating on the table I noticed that they blind handles or really dirty so I gave them a good scrub. Then gave the floor a good hoover. Ollie had been playing with Connect Sand in here earlier so it was honestly like the beach. Now this is the dog's corner of the sofa that is why there's always multiple blankets piled up in this area to save my couch from getting dirty. A lot of you ask how I managed to keep this sofa clean with kids and a dog. I honestly don't. I just manage to hide the stains well. It is really difficult to keep clean. On a serious note though, a good upholstery cleaner is always on hand for any accidents. On to the never ending pile of washing. I actually never got around to folding and putting away the clean washing tonight, but never mind. There was me just minding my own business, doing the perfect hoover lines and my hoover decided to die on me. Quick battery change and we're all good. Finally caved and got the boys one of those TikTok shop lights that everyone has and I'm kind of jealous. I want one from morning room. Not me taking the Chinese delivery and whilst I've got a tripod set up watching my hoover. Also, disclaimer, that is not a prawn cracker I gave the dog. It is, in fact, a pig snout. Come back to I thought my house was messy because of depression, but it turns out I'm just a dirty person. This idiot. <laughs> I forgot how to move the oven. You might not believe me, but this isn't the first time I've cleaned under here. <laughs> I couldn't wait to see what goodies I found under there. <laughs> we truly hit the jackpot. We found so many missing puzzle pieces and magnets. And look at the dirty oven on the sides. Yeah, I can't tell you when I last cleaned under here, but I do know it must be over a year and a half, which is the age of my girls, because some of the things I found under there, I haven't purchased since I was pregnant. So yeah, I can confidently say I've never cleaned the side of my oven though, which that's not a good thing either. <laughs> But now both sides are sparkling. So in case it's been a while or it's been a never um, since you've cleaned underneath and on the sides of your oven, this is your sign. Go do it. I did it. You can do it. This is your motivation. All right. This is a shame free zone over here. All right. Because we are on the journey to becoming cleaner people. <laughs> And don't forget to clean out that bottom drawer. Wipe it out nice and clean. Buddy. Treat yourself to your favorite beverage. Mine tonight is going to be a Coke with coconut creamer. What should I deep clean next? Clean my mom's house with me. Porque Rita está en cirugía. Um, se está poniendo las nalgas. Y pues aquí como ven, hay un cochinero. Ama, la mera verdad, yo no sé cómo te gusta tener cosas allí. Like, tira todo esto. Hasta los trastes tira, por favor. Y luego, um... También me comí un muffin, eh? Sorry. Pero, ¿qué te voy a decir? Dila, ¿por qué tienes este cochinero, ama? Come on. Y luego, ¿qué limpió el microwave? Dejó, lo dejó bien feo. Hoy oh, tiraste fiesta, no me invitaste. Y este trapeador, ama, no sirve. Tíralo a la chingada, por favor. Oh, ama, y sorry, pero me gasté casi como 40 toallas blancas, eh? Así que te debo. Actually, no te debo porque yo estoy limpiando tu casa. Mm, Johnny, lavo mis trastes. Ahí nomás los, los tiro a la basura. Ah, no se crean. Me ama tu cirugía porque, pues, tiene un pedo atorado ahí. Y, y le estoy ayudando a limpiar.
Vous me demandez tout le temps comment je fais pour avoir un intérieur aussi clair en ayant trois enfants en bas âge, une grosse boule de poils et surtout un mari. Et c'est essentiellement grâce au Bicel. C'est le modèle Spot Clean Pro. L'utilisation, c'est très simple. Vous avez deux grands réservoirs séparés avec un récupérateur d'eau sale et un pour l'eau propre et la solution. Dans ce réservoir, vous avez la ligne pour vous montrer jusqu'où vous devez mettre de l'eau. Puis 59 ml de solution. Vous avez deux modèles de tête fournis avec, avec brosse, une grosse et une petite. Et vous avez plus qu'à clipser l'embout au bout du tuyau. Bon, c'est parti. Maintenant, on passe à la partie sérieuse. Yacine était trop contente de pouvoir mettre plein de chocolat sur la chaîne. Moi j'avais presque les larmes qui coulaient mais ça va. <rire> Allez maintenant c'est parti, je vous montre, j'asperge deux produits. Et je vais frotter un maximum avant de pouvoir aspirer le liquide. Et là maintenant j'aspire, regardez-moi cette satisfaction au max. On voit bien comment il fait bien son rôle d'extracteur. Allez on poursuit avec les tabourets de bar. Oh là là les enfants me les salissent à tous les repas. Et c'est parti pour reproduire la même opération. Je commence d'abord par pulvériser le produit. Et puis on frotte bien 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 toutes ces tâches un peu dures. Et c'est parti pour le moment de la satisfaction comme j'aime. C'est typiquement le genre de vidéo que j'aime regarder. Et regardez maintenant la couleur de l'eau dans le réservoir d'eau sale en ayant juste nettoyé une chaise et deux tabourets. My weekly cleaning routine here all the time, so I wanted to share the 10 things that I do daily to keep our home running smoothly and help me keep my sanity. Number one, seems really simple, but making the bed. It only takes about a minute, you'll feel accomplished, and your whole room will feel a lot cleaner. Number two, I do one load of laundry to completion a day. If you're wondering if this will help keep your laundry baskets clear, the answer is no. At least not for me anyway. I don't even want to know how many loads I'd have to do to be completely caught up. Number three, I wipe down the doorknobs, the sink, and the toilet in our most used bathroom. It's just a quick wipe down, but it really stops the grime from building up. Number four, I unload the dishwasher as early as possible. This allows me to put in all the dirty dishes throughout the day. Number five, I work out, shower, and I get dressed. Usually just in leggings, but taking these couple of minutes to myself really helps me feel more put together. Number six, every afternoon I set a 15-minute timer and I pick up as much of the kitchen, living, and dining room as I can. Doing this always helps cut my nightly cleanup down in half. Number seven, after dinner I shut down our kitchen. Even though I'm usually exhausted at this point, I know that I deserve to walk down to a clean kitchen in the morning. Number eight, after the kitchen's been shut down, I scrub out our sink. It is such a great feeling to have a shiny sink at the end of the night. Number nine, we clean up all the boys' toys in our family room. And number 10, I vacuum the rug in here. I started doing all these things when I found out about the Fly Lady method a few years ago, and it has been such a game changer for me.
a trip in two days. So this is going to be a little pre-vacation deep clean. Our normal dogs slash house sitters are coming back. So I want to make sure it's like all nice and clean for them. Also, nothing beats coming back to a clean home. So let's go.
Every Wednesday I set a one hour timer and I see how much I can get done around the flat in that time. It is a lifestyle at this point. But giving myself one little baby hour in the middle of the week where I just get on with it and I'm not allowed to procrastinate has honestly made my life so much better. For one, I do very much see this as an Olympic sport and every week I'm trying to beat my personal best. Okay, I'll admit, breaking one of my favourite straws while aggressively unloading the dishwasher was not my best work. But you win some, you lose some. Reloading the dishwasher with a smidge less aggression. And now a task I cannot put off any longer. My fridge absolutely humding a lings. Taking out what I think are the offending areas and washing them properly in the sink. Ooh, that is definitely dried up milk on there. No wonder the stench has been sending me west every time I look for a snack. I'd normally edit this really smoothly, but just know those shelves are getting banged left, right and centre when you're trying to take them out. Also, I'm lazy cleaning the rest of the shelves because I'm just not in the mood for a shower trying to do them in the sink. Fridge clean done in record time that is something i'd normally make a way bigger deal about probably give it its own video but do you know what i just couldn't be asked just wanted to get it done as quickly as possible and it's inspired me i think every week i'm going to try and include one of those cleaning jobs that you always put off but in reality it doesn't even take that long well 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 here we go again time to clean my sofa and i've not actually done it with surf disinfectant for a while somebody asked me to try a different pattern so i've tried to go for like a checkered vibe and i'm just going to tell you now i don't like it I don't like it at all. But we're against the clock and there are no time for redos, so we're going to have to live with it. Luckily, it will only be there until I decide to plonk my ass on it. And my ass is drawn to that sofa like a moth to a flame, so we shall not be waiting long. Oh, whose idea was it to put the timer over there and then mop? Risking a bin run with a mere five minutes to go, but I'm back and we've still got two minutes. Time's up, goodbye. I'm committed to setting a one hour time limit every single Wednesday and sprinting around my flat like a mad woman getting as much clean as I can. Wash load on, now it's time for this shit pile to be gone. Can you believe this all fits under my bed? Setting my watch to a workout because I'm already sweating my tits off within four minutes. Oh crap. I don't have time for this today. The clock is a ticking right under my bed, loading in the things that I just can't let go of. Also, I promise you, I'm not trying to be a dick on purpose and deliberately not showing you my bedroom. Well, I kind of am. It's just that we've got a few little finishing touches to put in there, like that mirror, some new lights, and then we will be back in business. Anywho, you can't really see, but there was all like candle wax and 
stuff over my table. So giving that a really good clean and then a little hoover of the rug and we are in the living area. Right, it might seem a bit excessive going this hard on my sofa given that I've only got half an hour left, but I genuinely think I could be down to my last minute on earth. And this is exactly how I would spend it. Why deny myself something that makes me so happy? And moving on to the kitchen, pretty sure I'm just gonna be moving that mirror around until someone kindly puts it up for me. Totally forgot I was filming this for attention on the internet and let my big fat head get in the way pretty much the whole time I was cleaning the sink, but just know I did a really good job. And I am wiping down the sides. It's not my first rodeo doing this today and it will not be my last. There are two types of people in this world, those who dry their bed sheets on the door and those who don't. To be honest, there's clean washing all over the gaff today and we've still got another load in. It just does not end. But this towel row, it is a godsend. I can get a whole load of washing on there. Poor towels are just gonna have to stay hanging up in the glass for now. We are down to the last five minutes, so I'm just gonna spend it going balls to the wall with the hoover. No prizes for guessing where I'm going next. To be honest, I could just spend the next two minutes shoving it in and out of this gap and I would be very happy. I blame the gap for the fact that the timer actually beat me today and I couldn't hear that it ended because all I could hear was my hoover. And my rings are closed. Goodbye. And don't be embarrassed if you had no one to teach you how to properly clean or a cleaning schedule it just makes sense that you wouldn't know certain things so let me go over my sunday cleaning routine because i think you can take some things from it and even if the only time you can clean is on sunday your house is at least going to be manageable i always start with the sheets it's good to wash your bedding often i have a husband and a toddler that eat in the bed and i get fake tan all over it so it needs it so wash every part of your bedding whatever detergent you want to use is fine i use all free and clear just because it's a cleaner option and i also use vinegar because it's a natural fabric softener odor neutral neutralizer etc and starting in one room at a time i pick up everything off the floors with a toddler there's always things on the floor do a basic tidying of putting things away and then vacuuming right here i'm unloading the dishwasher that ran last night but you can see in more of my closing shifts and putting the few dishes in it that we've accumulated today so then later on i can do my closing shift again and run it this is just an extra thing but i was like organizing and purging the toys we keep out in the living room for my daughter so we have toys for her in every room in the house i do really believe in the concept of keeping your home minimal because it makes it so much easier to manage like right now this is way too much stuff for me to be out here so if things get away from you that's fine just take some time when you can to go through things and get rid of the things you don't need it'll make you a lot less stressed the schedule that's been helpful for me is mopping every other sunday and the sundays i don't mop i clean the bathroom so clean your toilets all that those are both important things you need to do because while vacuuming is important it's not actually cleaning your floor and if no one taught you that don't be embarrassed my husband also didn't know that mopping was important and lastly for me with adhd if i don't write everything out in a planner and on the board on the fridge we'll focus on tasks that aren't important those are another crucial thing that helps me stay on task and have a good week Hope that helps y'all i got the keys to my new apartment but of course before i move anything into my apartment i'm gonna clean up these apartments they do clean but they do like a surface level clean so i wanted to do more of a deep cleaning and of course i started with my kitchen so the appliances did look new like the fridge and the microwave and the oven but i still wanted to kind of go in and clean it with the um what is it like an all-purpose disinfectant i don't know i cleaned it and i mean i feel comfortable with how clean it is but i just kind of wanted to get into the nooks and crannies just in case any lasting dirt was left um, from the previous owners and then of course i wanted to wipe down the handles with the lysol wipe and then i went into the bathroom and i cleaned the toilet and i made a mistake and dropped the cap of bleach inside of the toilet y'all that is so nasty to me i don't know why like the toilet looked clean but like i said I like to deep clean um, and I do have a new toilet brush and then I use a Lysol wipe to wipe the rest of the toilet. I always use a Lysol wipe. I don't think it's smart to use a rag to clean your toilet. I just like the fact that I can clean it and then throw the little wipe away. And then here is my new shower. It's really big. I don't really love the white tile, but I love taking baths and I love a big tub. And here are my new countertops. I don't like the bathroom counters, but it is what it is. Everything can't be perfect. Um, and then I wanted to go back into the kitchen and kind of put everything away. And I'm already starting to feel really comfortable in this space. I really like it. Um, and then I also kind of wanted to wipe down the countertops and just make myself at home. And the only places where I have carpet is my closet and my room. So I'm definitely about to start vacuuming. There's dishes, there's laundry, the bathroom is a mess. We need to clean. So let's do it together.
down, please. Hallo Freunde, heute muss ich mal wieder mein Zimmer aufräumen, weil es echt ein bisschen unordentlich geworden ist. Und da dachte ich mir, nehme ich euch doch einfach mal wieder mit. Deswegen habt ihr gerade schon mal das vorher gesehen. Dann habe ich erstmal angefangen mit meiner Bettecke. Mir hat es da eigentlich richtig gut gefallen mit diesem blau-weiß-rosa Bettzeug. Deswegen habe ich es einfach gelassen und habe nur mein Bett neu gemacht. Und dann ging es auch schon zu meinem Nachtschrank. Da habe ich einmal alles runtergeräumt, unter anderem auch diesen Weihnachtsbaum, weil ich die Weihnachtsdeko wirklich nicht mehr sehen konnte. Dann habe ich ihn einmal sauber gemacht und habe dann ein bisschen neue Deko raufgestellt. Und dann ging es weiter mit meinem Schminktisch. Da habe ich auch erstmal die Sachen, die noch oben lagen, in die Schublade reingeräumt. Und dann habe ich auch da endlich die Weihnachtsdeko weggeräumt und sie ausgetauscht gegen ja, ein bisschen was Frühlingshaftes. Ich weiß, wir haben noch nicht Frühling, aber ich habe trotzdem schon mal Lust drauf. Deswegen habe ich da so Tulpen hingestellt und dann noch so eine Blumengelande aufgehangen. Da weiß ich noch nicht, ob mir das zu viel ist, aber ich glaube, ich finde es ganz süß. Dann habe ich noch ein paar Pakete weggeräumt, die so auf dem Boden lagen. Und dann ging es zu meiner Schreibtischecke, die war auch ein bisschen unordentlich. Da habe ich erstmal ein bisschen Wäsche weggeräumt und dann habe ich noch den Schreibtisch ähm, aufgeräumt, also einfach so ein paar Sachen wegsortiert. Und dann hatte ich noch ein paar ähm, Sachen aus London, die ich wegräumen musste, die ich da gekauft habe. Deswegen habe ich die dann nochmal schnell wegsortiert. Da ging es zu dieser Rumpelecke, da stand einfach noch ein Liebkuchenhaus, Leute, deswegen muss ich das auch wegräumen. Und dann seht ihr jetzt hier einmal meinen gesamten Adventskalenderinhalt, den ich einfach immer noch nicht wegsortiert habe. Deswegen seht ihr jetzt mal hier einen Zeitraffer, wie ich das so ein bisschen sortiert habe und dann habe ich es alles weggeräumt. Und dann dachte ich mir, weil da eigentlich voll viele so kleine Mini-Größen mit dabei sind, dass ich daraus einfach eine kleine Reisekulturtasche mache. Deswegen ähm, habe ich das alles da reingeräumt und für die nächste Reise habe ich es dann direkt. Und dann seht ihr nochmal eine kurze Zeitraffer, wie ich meinen Kleiderschrank einräume. Und dann habe ich nur noch ein bisschen gesaugt. Und ja, dann seht ihr auch schon das Nachhergebnis. Jetzt ist alles wieder schön sauber. Buying more hangers. If I don't wear it, it has to go. I said that last time. I'm being for real. This has to go. All these skimpy little college tops, I'm not wearing them. They have to go. Come on. Be for real. And I'm gonna separate the piles into like stuff for my friends and then stuff for like Goodwill. And I'll actually give the bag to my friends this time because last time it sat in here for like a week and I was like, it has to go. I really wanted this to work. I really wanted these type of shirts to look good on me. They don't. When you lift up your underarms, they look weird. Let me just put it on to make sure. Okay, this looks good, right? But this is the part that like, Like, why are my underarms out? I have always wanted to wear this sweater. I don't know how. You're not supposed to wear a bra with it. Tell me how this works. Because anytime I try to do anything, it's like, titties out. The pants situation is where it gets a little dicey. Because I go through phases where it's like, okay, I only want to wear 90s jeans. I only want to wear high rise jeans. I only want to wear low rise jeans. And I don't want to make an impulse decision on a phase that I'm in. Because right now, the basketball short, I could do without. I just don't see a reason. Like the schoolgirl skirts. It's time to go. I love these jeans with my whole heart. I don't think they fit. Like these were so cute, but I've gained weight in the last year. If I sit down in these within like five seconds, true. I just don't want to live like that. I hate having clothes that you're like hoping to fit in one day. Like I feel like that's discouraging. Like I want to have clothes that I feel confident in right now. Someone's gonna get really good use out of those. I feel like I might be out of this era. And I've had these since like I was in high school. I can't see myself like reaching for these. Aww. It's like so exciting to like be growing up and so sad at the same time. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That means you're growing. That means you're growing. Look at all these new hangers.
bedroom and bathroom need a really good deep clean, so let's do it. Look at all that. 